Good afternoon, fellow tankers. Commander Denali here. And today we're on Malinovka in the rain, in our IS-7. This is a pretty heavy uh, tier 10 matchup. Not a lot of tier 9s and one tier 8 on each team. Um, pretty much, uh, I believe, two thirds of each team, just about two thirds of each team are all tier 10. So here I am in the IS-7, um, you know, slowly working on We've getting my third mark of excellence Take on this thing. And uh, just pretty much having a, uh, a lot of fun in this Focus tank. On this location. So as most of you guys know, this tank has, you know, a decent amount of armor. It's it's angled, it's sloped, it is it is a great machine when it's hauled down. Um, the gun on it is not that horrible. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, starting off this match, of course, we're going to drive up the hill, um, go, you know, to the uh, B or C0 area, and uh, we're going to try to fight and take the hill. Looks like our team is spread out pretty good. We've got a couple, he uh, three heavy tanks and a medium tank in the middle, along with a light tank. Um, I think five tanks is a little overkill for the middle. Um, and then on the far side, we've got a medium tank supported by a tank destroyer. And it looks like uh, another heavy and tank destroyer going that way. Which means there's five tanks following me up the hill here. So, I mean, not ideal. I would like to have a little bit more firepower um, over here rather than in the middle. But all in all, as long as they can shoot up here and get side shots on some of these guys, I have zero complaints. But they are very aggressive. Uh, already in C6, that heavy tank. Um, it's also a really good spotting location, usually for a light or a medium tank. Um, but to see a heavy tank there, that's just kind of weird to me. But anyway, uh, medium tank on the uh, far side of the map got taken out. And we run into contact on M103, do a quick snapshot, do some damage. And then we're going to back up and get hull down as much as possible because of that object 268. Get a good like shot into the 268 as well. Um, so, so far, this gun is uh, performing and uh, doing well. I'm trying to push up here, but staying in the location where we're hauled down for the most part. Um, enemy IS-7, we're going to let him him. He's going to bounce. So, you know, so far, this is uh, fantastic. Target locked. And burn our repair kit on that. Ooh, B-75 hits us pretty good there. So far, we've we've done well with our uh, shots, uh, taking some damage. Uh, you know, 900 damage, uh, but we put out almost 2,000 already. And, uh, you know, our first bounce, no big deal. And this E5, uh, where did he come from? I did not see that. But we'll go ahead and finish on him as well. Uh, I don't know why he rushed so hard uh, tier 9 into a group of tier 10s, but uh, he did. Alright, so it looks like that IS-7 is his lesson and he's staying hull down. So we're not going to try to take shots at him unless we got his lower plate. But we do have 268. Oh, and our gun dirks. Uh, we should have been able to hit that weak point. But yeah, this is just pretty standard stuff here, guys, you know, going up here, moving around a little bit, trying to get, you know, shots on the enemy, you know, protecting as much as your tank as you can, uh, you know, stay hold down and stuff. Uh, you know, sometimes you got to take risky shots like that. Uh, but yeah, so far we've fired, you know, nine, ten shots. Uh, we've got five hits. Another fail there, uh, you know. This gun can troll you sometimes, uh, you know, just like any other uh, large caliber gun, 120 plus millimeter. Object 268 put another good shot into him, now he's definitely a one shot. Um, got some good damage here, so this is looking good for our three marks of excellence when we do uh, good damage. And then, uh, you know, bounce off the side of the 75 which is crazy. Here we go, IS-7 not hauled down, and he backs up just before I'm reloaded. So yeah, again, just pretty standard stuff here. Um, 
taking a couple of risks to get some damage. Like that. Uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta do that. It looks like uh, most of our help here got taken out, except for me and another uh, IS 7. And there's four of these out here. But we do got two tanks uh, quite a ways behind us that are heavy, uh, heavy tanks. Um, so maybe they're gonna take shots up here and assist us if they try to push us. So, E-75 getting greedy, um, not a smart play on his part, two IS-7s, and none of his teammates were following him, so we got wreckages down here to hide behind, and I can put a second shot into him as well. So as you see, I'm just trying to watch my flanks, be very cautious of that tank destroyer on my left, I just want to get this gun out of the game really quick. And that Fosh 155, uh, that can pose some problems, possibly, if he tries to move around. I have seven. Nope, can't get his lower plate and take that down. I'll have to try. Um, but the Fosh gets hit really hard. So pretty much all the enemies up here are, you know, one and two shot tanks. Um, so I'm gonna push up a little bit and try to, uh, take out one of these tank destroyers. That's 268. He's been uh, exposing himself a little bit too much. And there we go, we end up finishing him off. Alright, we fired a lot of rounds. We're down to uh, two standard AP shells, uh, seven premium and three HE. Um, and we've got seven enemies left. Uh, granted, uh, two of them up here are one shots, but there's a JPC 100 there. Uh, looks like he's got a lot of health remaining. Um, just spotted that guy in the back. Uh, not sure what he is right off the top of my head, but that means he's full health, um, unless somebody blind shot him. There we go, put a good shot into the Fosh. And we're going to go ahead and go down here and try to finish him off. Uh, we don't need that gun in this game any longer. That's Alright, my, my teammate helped me out. Um, yeah, E100 full health. Uh, STI full health. We're down to one standard round, uh, seven premium rounds, and uh, three AG rounds. So, you know, stuff isn't looking good right now. But I have done 11 penetrating shots. Uh, got two assisted, one for spotted target, one for track target. So, I mean, that's going to help, you know, work towards my MOEs. But right now, I mean, this IS-7 and myself, like, working together without Ready even to talking or anything like that. Um, you know, we push together, right now we're falling back together, we're just trying to regroup with these other heavies with us. Um, I'm getting pretty low on ammo. Like there we go, good shot right at Jag Panzer E100. Uh, very lucky to get that pin, I think, because we were popping. But as you see, we both, you know, fell back together and everything. Um, and it's just been like, a very good coordination between the two of us, without talking. Match. We are up by one tank, uh, but our two tank destroyers are over, you know, securing the field. Um, and then the rest of us are over here on this side trying to uh, take the mountain and push. We found us. And there we go. Uh, STI, still full health. Not we great. Uh, but we do have some more help up here now. Me, this other IS-7. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it might be like an M103. Something like that. Oh, and of course the E100 as well. And luckily, uh, my track absorbs that shot. Now we're in the thick of it here. Um, STI's backing off a little too far, so I'm gonna snap off this side. And then we got an enemy light tank as well. T49. Yeah, T49. He's probably going to try to get up here and derp us. Releasing target. Bounce off the STI. Not great. Enemies got us in their sights. Go ahead and Ready to fire on target. Ready to put another shot into him. Penetration. That 100 could have had me. He could have finished me off right there. Um, but he chose to shoot at my teammate instead. Um, which is good for us, because that means we may be able to get a couple more damaging shots. There's one. Looks like that one went right through. 
Friendly IS-7 pushing up now. U-100's focused on him. So I can make, maybe get sight of the turret or something. No, lower plate? Yeah, lower plate. We've only got five more shots! He's not looking so good, though. Friendly IS-7. Unlocking so target. turret. We lost a friendly vehicle. Enemies One looking right at APCR us. round left. <laughs> Three off. HE rounds. Um, yeah, not looking good. But Watch we end up getting the armor. turret pin on the U-100. Uh, e T-49 is going to take our loader. We're going to put him back in. We got him to right Fail that shot. I was just hoping, you know, I could do enough damage to finish that U-100 off. Um, but I didn't. The U-100, I don't know if I can fire there and get a chance. There we go. <laughs> he hits me with the spaced armor and bounces. So now we've got one HE round remaining. And let's just put it into this guy's. Do a little bit extra damage. And, oh, never mind. We don't have to. So yeah, this is uh, crazy. Three enemy tanks are left. I'm on 300 hit points and I have one HE round left. Um, yeah, the Jagdpanzer E100. IS-7, and I'm not sure what the third enemy is, but this is not looking good for, for me. <laughs> oh, there we go, Jagdpan's yeah, E-100, that was just... Go ahead, snapshot him, do a whole 58 damage, and now I'm out of ammo, so the only things I can do right now is pretty much a uh, spot for my team. But I'm gonna go ahead and let my team know, you know, a few different times that the enemy I'm out of ammo. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, but we are getting some assist damage. Ooh, Tortoise that's on low health. Maybe I could ram him to death. Um, if I can get close enough to him without him killing me. But that Yagpanzer needs to get taken care of first. Oh, and sure enough, he gets taken care of. Uh, Tortoise is behind that other building. Might be able to sneak over there and ram him. I'm going to try to do that. All right. So, anyway, so far, guys, we've got uh, 20 penetrating shots, or, you know, 20 damaging shots. Uh, we spotted five enemies, we've got six crits, one track target hit, three kills, and two spotted target hits. And, uh, couldn't get there quick enough. All right, the last guy remaining is the enemy IS-7. He's faced off currently with this T-30 over here. And if he stays focused on him... Oh, he's really low health, too. I might be able to ram him to death. Well, we're sure as hell gonna try, because what's the worst that happens? Uh, we got shot and killed, and then the two guys behind us clean up the mess. I mean, I don't see any harm in this play right here. So, yeah, we're gonna try to do that if he takes out the T-30. If not, the T-30 should be able to handle it. Unless he keeps face hugging him like that, then the T-30 screwed. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. You know, T-30 fired and bounced off of him, so IS-7's got the reload on him now. Maybe. Okay, yeah, there he goes. Um, yeah, let's ram this guy. 300 health, double suicide. Nope, he takes 70 damage, I take uh, 180-ish, uh, but I survive and get my fourth kill. So yeah, uh, at the end of that one, we ended up um, still profiting money, even though we fired a lot of ammo from um, everything we had. We made 37,000 silver. We got 2,700 experience points, uh, 21 penetrations for just under 9,000 damage, uh, and four tanks destroyed. Um, yeah, with that we got high caliber, we got confederate, steel wall, ace tanker 99%, um, and as you can see there, I've got two marks of excellence on this thing slowly working towards my third anyway i'll go to the team stats here in just a second for you um but yeah till next time fellow tankers uh you guys go out there and kill some shit i hope to see you guys on the battlefield don't forget guys if you like this video hit that like button if you're new to the channel like what you see hit